how to set up onboarding on Discord. So that is what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do is to, of course, go here on our website and then make sure that you are logged in into your account. Now, once you are now on your server, the next thing that we need to do is to click this and then go to the server settings. Once you go to the server settings, what we're going to do next is to go into enable community and then make sure that you click get started. Once you click get started, click verified email required and then this one also and then click next. And then all you have to do is to just answer this one right here. So it's up to you what you want to answer here. So I'm just going to click next and then I click agree and understand finish setup. And then once you do that, you will now be able to see onboarding. Now, what we're going to do here is to click check it out. And then on this part, let's click got it. And then let's click next right here. Now in this part, what we're going to do is to include seven channels right here. So once a member joined, this is the channels wherein they will have access to. So let's say, for example, we want to use this, this one also. And then once you're now done, just click next and then click got it. And then in this part, this is the pre-join questions. So if you want to ask some certain questions before they join, all you have to do is to do that. So if you want to change the question, you can do that. And if you want to add an answer, you can also do that. So let's say, for example, yes. And then in this part for the assigned channels and roles. So if you want to add them into, let's say, for example, into this channel right here. So if you want to do that, and then for the roles, if you want to make them as members, you can click that. And then if you want to add emoji, you can also do that, but I will just leave it as it is and then click save. Now, once you click that right there, if you want to make it a multiple answers, you can also do that. But since it is a yes or no answer, I'm gonna uncheck this right here and then I'll make this required. And then for this one, if you want to add more questions, you can also do that. Now, for the post join questions, if you want to ask a question once they join the server, you can do that by just asking or adding a question right here. But I will just leave it as it is. And then I'm just going to click next. And then let's click got it again. And then for the welcome sign, let's set up the welcome sign right here. So let's click that. And then for this members, let's click, let's say, for example, me. And then for this one, just say hi, welcome and then click save right there. It is customizable, so if you want to change it into whatever you like, you can do that. Now for the new members to do, you will need to set at least three to five tasks for your new members to do. So let's say for example, let's say for example right here, the chat, and then what we're going to do is to go here on the general. And then if you want to add a custom thumbnail, you can do that, but I will just leave it as it is. And then for the, this task is complete, when members visit the channel, or this member sends a message in the channel, so it's up to you what you want right here. So I'm just going to click save. Now what we're going to do is to just type another task and then right here, right there, and then click save. Once you click that, once you've created those, what we're going to do here on the resource pages, if you want to add a resource right here, it's up to you, but I will just leave it as it is. And then once you're now done, let's click next. And then in this part, as you can see, we're now almost ready to be enabled. Now, what we're going to do here, as you can see the server guide, we must have a welcome message and at least three to do task. Now, what we're going to do is to edit it and add another task in the chat. And then let's click the select and then choose the server where they should do it. And then let's click this one and click save. Now, once you do that, let's click next again. And as you can see, we're now ready to enable onboarding. So if you want to preview it, all you have to do is to click that. But I will just click enable onboarding right there. So I can just, of course, show you how to enable onboarding. And as you can see right there, we now have enabled onboarding in our Discord. So that is basically it. That is how to set up onboarding on Discord.